Good evening, my name is Francesco Fresa. I'm from Office Bureauk, Milan. Um, from working space to working space. I want to tell you tonight the story of a, a building, of an industrial building that was uh, built at the beginning of the century as a working space. It was a former airplane factory uh, who had a great success until the war. Then after the second war was closed and was completely abandoned for 60 years. Uh, the project is the story of uh, rebringing there a working space in what which was a former working space and excellence of uh, artisanat, of um, engineering, of um, doing uh, the things in a very fine way. <clears throat> so I think more than the results, for me it's in interesting to show you the process. And um, to tell you the process, of course, we have to start from the protagonist. The protagonist is, is this industrial area a little bit outside of Milan. It was the Caproni, um, Caproni airplane factory. We have also an hero. Uh, the hero is um, is uh, Gianni Caproni, the founder of this company. He was actually a pioneer of airplane construction. Even Miyazaki dedicated to him a movie because he was really a, a person that uh, started in this year the construction of airplane. So he created a factory outside of Milan, which was really uh, um, a result of excellence, of engineering and hunt, um, craftsmanship uh, to produce uh, amazing uh, airplane was the, the, the result on this, in this period of the society of a, a great technology but also um, artisanal pieces. The, the factory was outside of Milan at that time, uh, was connected with the city because at that time the workers were coming from the city and the, the goods were coming from outside the city. Rogoredo was the first steel company, so the, the, the airplane factories was taking advantage of that. I'm going now very quickly because it's actually a long presentation, but it's really, we're going through the, the pictures of the places he founded uh, this factory in a completely field because he could uh, build a runway there and start to build several buildings um, where they were constructing these this new models, uh, these new prototypes of airplanes. The idea of the factory was to create a um, horizontal uh, building um, that worked a kind of um, of a assembly line. There was a middle street, and from this middle central street, um, the, um, the activities were going from one pavilion to the others. And the activity started by the planning, because it was there the, the design office. Then it goes to all the different activities of of the uh, of the construction, the construction of the propeller, the wood pieces, the metal pieces. Um, until the last hangar, the, uh, there is a beautiful building, it's an hangar that is 4,000 square meters without any, any columns, where the airplanes were presented, sold, and then uh, tasted on the, on the runway. Uh, so this was the central street, uh, where uh, from the, each pavilion were coming out the, 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 the drawings, the pieces, so it was um, a multifunctional complex that brought from the planning until the, 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 the selling of the single airplanes. Uh, these are, again, images or, or, uh, of, of the, the time of the construction. And as you, as you see, it's a laboratory. It's not a factory. It's a place where, where people were uh, um, putting together their experience. And for that, uh, from that point of view, also Caproni was very a visionary because he bring in this structure uh, activities like a uh, um, medical uh, um, office, um, a kindergarten, uh, a canteen and other things. And the factory grew very quickly uh, until having 5,000 5, uh, employees and the, the high point and the, ra the raise and the fall of Caproni was of course the war. Here you see Mussolini visiting the, the Caproni area and of course this was the beginning of the end. Um, 1945, Italy lost the war or at least I think um, Many Italians don't think they, they lose the war. They think that surrender a few years before, but Italians are people from uh, short memories. We don't remember that we had the fascism, we had the, 
No, it's, we have to say something political about this country sometimes. We have in 1938 the Russian laws that banned all the um, Jewish Italians from schools and, and other activities. We have probably the biggest, we are the people who gave the, to the world the biggest immigrations, and now we are complaining with people who are coming to our country, but this is our shame, so let's go back to our project. Um, we found the places abandoned, because after the war it was abandoned for 70 years, or abandoned or misused. Um, of course, the structure of the pavilion, of the different pavilions which were built with different materials were affected by that, especially the wood, the wood elements. Uh, the great anger was used as a go-kart uh, runway. Uh, the whole building was basically abandoned, and then coming, it's like a movie, coming to the, um, to the present time, we found it like that, in a very bad uh, situation. So, when the client, which is a fashion company, uh, decided to take this area, um, actually the input was not to conserve, it was not a preservation project. They said, okay, if, if you want to demolish everything, we can do it. But we proposed them to reuse the building, to start to rethink this building with a no, with a modern, uh, as a modern working space, with a, uh, trying to keep the same quality elements, the design, uh, expression of a contemporary time, uh, before was airplanes, now it's fashion. Uh, the quality of the materials um, and having there a campus that hosts all the process from the design until the prototyping, uh, the cutting, the, the, um, the tailors are working there, um, the, the different um, uh, prototype people until the selling and the run show. There is also the catch of the of the collection and the showrooms with the selling of of the collection. Uh, the the position of the place, uh, uh, well, the position is still the same, but it changed the condition uh, of uh, related to the city. It is not anymore uh, outside the city. is on the margin of the city. The idea of the of the company was to bring activities which are normally inside the cities, like showrooms, PR office, all, all the stuff out there, and then bringing all the people who are working, who are living, or the artisans, the Italian artisans who are living outside the city, and bringing them in this meeting point, which is very close to Linate. Actually, the reason why Linate is there is because before was Caproni, so Caproni left also heritage in the Linate. And the connection is, is very good, the highway, so bringing people of different activity together. That was the idea, and that was the thing, the, 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 the most inter interesting thing uh, of, the, um, of the project. You have diff usually activities which are completely separated. The PR, I never, never talk with uh, the people, the, sorry, uh, the, um, the tailors. So this is uh, the site. What we did, uh, we approached, well, for us, is very important the issue of the context. So we start to study very carefully the building. We start to, st to study every pavilion. We start to analyze, even like with a, let's say, medical approach, analyze, making diagnosis, and decided what to keep and what not to keep. Of course, we were trying to keep as much as possible, even if that was not the input, but we, we tried to make not a restoration project, but something working with the existing structure and integrating modern architecture. So we analyzed the, the building which were for sure to be demolished because erected in, in the 60s or 70s. But then, and then we, we took all this, uh, the surface to create one single building as a uh, hosting for the, for the offices, while the rest, uh, of course the green also had a very important function. So this is a uh, 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 layout. While the, the, the other important thing was the so-called space planning. We tried to bring the different activities again in the same pavilions that were used for engineering, while for the engineering or the um, aerodynamics uh, studies, we had there the design office of, of this fashion company, as well all, like, all the, uh, the sales offices, the PR offices, but also, also the people 
who are receiving the different materials, the, um, the different uh, textile and so on, and makes, uh, making the, um, um, the, the prototypes, which are now produced not anymore there, but are uh, lo located in, uh, the production is located in other places, but still they, the dresses that are coming back here, they go on the catwalk and then they're sold in all the world. Um, so this is just a schematic thing of the different activities that's, that, having, um, that are happening there. And the idea was also to put diffuse inside the building um, different uh, function of meeting uh, where the different pe the people with different activities will, will meet. Not only a cafeteria, but um, think tank rooms or uh, or whatever, where where the tailor can meet uh, the the designer and the, the office guys. So great, the time is over and you haven't seen the project, but it doesn't matter. The project is not the most important thing, but the process is important. <laughs> okay, I show you very quickly. Well, I show you the site, which is for me even more important. The site is, is something that sometimes we don't see in the projects. And this site was in a way brutal because it was really the goal of making a, a good working bu building. You have to think also that there were issues related to fire uh, preservation and all, all the um, um, technical pro things that are not the same as 100 years ago. So the site, we had to excavate parking underneath. So I, I always see the site as a big ballet. Uh, when you, you see the people working, is an amazing uh, experience. Uh, it's a ballet of, of uh, hundreds of people uh, working in one side. And, and this was a big site with very strong uh, intervention. We took apart all the, the roof, uh, um, the metal part, we restored it. Uh, some parts were made uh, new, as new elements. Uh, this, for example, is we kept the facade, but we had to redo the whole the whole shed roofs because it was not working from a from a point of view of uh, uh, sustainability. Uh, in the main street, the main street uh, has all the technical uh, has all the tech. Te technical things, under the big hangar is a big parking, so it was a m massive work. But um, we believe that at the end our job is, we are quite obsessed also with details and construction procedure. And at the end a good project is when people come and they think, uh, well, you haven't done very much at the end of the day. So this is one project that uh, at the end of the day, it looks that you haven't done very much, but looking at the site, uh, pictures, you understand that there was a lot of work. Uh, now here we are close to the end, I'm almost finished. This is the main uh, office building while the other, other activities are on ground. Uh, the new facade, and well this is a Caproni bricks, and this is how it looks now. Uh, this is the main entrance, the main street. The, the pavilions, uh, some of the roofs were restored, some of the roofs were uh, new done. We created a new square that is a relation between uh, people of different, uh, that, uh, doing different activities. This is the main entrance with the cafeteria on one side and the office entrance on the other side. The showrooms, the square again, the relation between the old buildings and the new buildings. <coughs> This is uh, the main entrance of the office, and on the right side is a, a um, amphitheater with uh, eight meter doors opening, like, of course, airplanes, wheels. And this is the big hangar, corridor, cafeteria. Uh, okay, this is the um, ampliation, the hotel, because it's a mansion, multifunctional spaces. But anyway, this is the result of all this process. and. Maybe we fly again. Thank you very much. Um, now the building has been, uh, there is the, 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 the whole complex has been completed. Now it's, uh, everything is finished because I know that it's been step by step. Yeah, it's uh, the whole complex, about 30, 40,000 square meters is completed. The hotel is completed, which is not a fancy hotel. It's just a hotel for for people who are working there. 
but uh, then there is the last part, is the production place, which is probably going to be unconstructed. But it's mainly a private, you, you cannot enter? Are there public No, spaces? you cannot enter. It's, it's a campus. It's a campus. It's a campus Actually, for people who are entering the are the, the so-called clients, the retailers. They come there, they buy the, the, the product, but it's a, it's a private campus. The idea was, uh, and that for, for the client was very important, is to create a, a working space of high quality, a modern working space, um, a working space that uh, brings, and, and for this reason he was very happy when we proposed not to demolish the whole things, which was for, for us, of course, one of the best uh, things to do, because less work and more, more uh, you know, we are, uh, yeah, <laughs> icons for the architects, uh, more show off. And here you see very subtle the, the projects. I think what we wanted to do is, in a way, do a silent project, you know, a silent that gets in the area, uh, which is a redeveloping redelop areas, but is silent. And strangely, it works. It's going to, it's changing the old area, new cafes, new places are burning, so it's, it's, it's working. But the idea was to make an efficient working space with people from completely different backgrounds. You can find there, you know, the stylists, the, the designers from, from somewhere in, in the world, uh, working with the guy who's, who's suing, and, and this collaboration is very important. And bring us back to the idea of the old airplane factory. Thank you.